Hi, I'm Chuck Gassman with Bell Brothers Heating and Air Conditioning and I'm here to talk about geothermal systems and how they work in an installation. Today we're going to talk about um, the geothermal system. We're going to start here where the loops come in from underneath the ground. They come through the basement floor here and out in the yard out in front we have all the vertical wells that are connected to these two loops that come in. One is the supply and one is the return. In this particular house there are two geothermal units, one to do the air conditioning and heating of the main level and another one to do the in-floor heat. So we have two flow centers, one for each geothermal unit. The geothermal unit water comes in and goes to each, ge each geothermal pump and then goes over through the pipes over to each of the geothermal units. You can see those running across the floor here. The geothermal pipes then come into the unit down here and the geothermal unit then takes the heat that's in the ground, that's in the fluid in those pipes, and transfers it into the air that's distributed through the house. In this particular system, we have a zone system where there's four thermostats in the duct, and that's what these little guys are right here. Those are the zone dampers that control the airflow um, with thermostats on the main level of the house. You have your return air coming down back into the geothermal unit, uh, into the side of the unit here. There's an air coil here and that's where the heat is transferred. It's taken out of the, fl the fluid in the loop and transferred through this air coil into the air system in the house. In the winter time the system just reverses. We have the return air that is warmer coming back, the coil is cold, and it cools the air that goes through the house, takes the heat that's in the air, and puts it back into the loop in the ground outside. Another feature of the geothermal system is the domestic hot water preheat or desuperheater and that's these two pipes here and they're actually connected to your domestic water heater and when the system is on it's going to take some of the heat that it gets from the ground and move it into your hot water heater and we'll show you where those pipes connect on the water heater in just a second in the summertime you're getting basically free heat for your hot water because that heat would be just be going back into the ground instead we're putting it into the water heater in the winter time it'll give you about forty percent of the total water heating heat that you need to heat your house. So it saves about 40 to 50 percent on your total water heating costs. Okay, at the water heater, the domestic hot water comes in through the top of the water heater in this pipe. And you can see this is an insulated line from the water furnace unit that is actually connected to that water into the water heater. And that's where your preheated water will go in. And it comes out and goes back over to the geothermal line there. So you have a circulation of water through the water heater to preheat the water in the tank. Other installations for desuperheater will have a, another storage tank where we're preheating the water into the storage tank before it actually goes into the regular water heater. So that's another option that you have with domestic hot water on a, on a geothermal system.